Hey guys and welcome to my tutorial on where I show you how to implement the Unity Ads 4.3.0. I'm going to be taking you through a walkthrough of both your basic ads, your banner ads and your reward ads. I'm also going to line the bar at the bottom so you can fast track to whichever one that you're trying to install now or just watch from the start. So first thing I'm going to do, uh, this is where we're going to actually set up uh, Unity ads ready for it to be initialized. Now, you don't need to create a project and do this from the start. You can do it at any point in your project, whether it's in the start, the middle, or right at the end just before you're, you're releasing it. You could even do it even after you've released it. If you're looking to update your SDK from the 3.7 or any of the other ones like 4.0, um, then it's a very similar process. Um, I personally, uh, on what I did when I updated my apps was just deleted the SDK and just reinstalled the 4.3.0. So, let's get started. I'm going to start off by just creating a new project just for this example. Now this works in both 2D and 3D. Uh, if these are the UI, I'm just going to go with a 2D workspace and we're going to call this one uh, Ads Example. Seeing as that is what this video is going to be about, uh, we're just going to create the project, and then after a few minutes, it should set up. There you go. So this will do for now. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start off by showing you how to install the actual Unity SDK. Because uh, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Um, you can, depending on your Unity version, it may not come up. The 2021 version, the reason why I've used it is because I get the problem uh, that you may arise. So when we go to the package manager, this is package manager which shows you all of the packages that you're in. As you can see just there, advertisements is not on there. So we're going to go to Unity registry, scroll on down to here, advertisement. Now you'll notice here this is 3.7.5. Now this isn't a version we're going to be installing. We're going to be installing version 4.3.0. So uh, if that does say 4.3.0, then fantastic, just install it there. But ultimately, you're still going to need to go into this next menu in order to set it up, uh, which you can also install the latest version of Unity from there. So if we go to Edit, Project Settings. It's not going to be as big as this. This box no you only that. So here we're gonna need to just uh, select our organization and then where it says here use an existing project ID, we're gonna create a project ID. Uh, there we go. So once you've selected uh generates ID, uh we then just need to uh just answer this question. Will this app be primarily targeted to children under the age of 13? If your app is, make sure you press yes. Is a legal requirement as well as you don't want ads being shown on an app which is designed for kids and these ads are for ages older than the age of 13 is where their target audience is so we're going to put no on this one because this is just showing you how to do it so we're then just going to press save there we go so now where it says ads monetize your game we're going to want to turn that on so turns on it will just do some playing about perfect so there we go so here you can see it automatically installs 3.7.5 latest version is available is 4.3.0 which is the one which i'm showing you how to install and use so we're literally just going to press install the latest version there we go then. so now the current version is 4.3 and we are up to date because we're using this in a development environment, we're going to enable the test mode. Now, when you take this app out of uh, development and into production, i.e. you upload it to the App Store, you're going to want to go back into this menu and just turn off test mode. Otherwise, you're not going to make any money from your ads. Uh, these game IDs are important, but we will save those for a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, that is the SDK is installed and now ready to be used. So now we're going to move on to initializing the SDK. Uh, Unity require the Unity ads to be initialized prior to using them. Uh, that's what different 
differentiates from 3.7.5, you need this to be run as a separate script. So what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to the Unity documentation because it's the Unity documentation. So we're going to so this is the Unity documentation. I'll link it down in the description below. Uh, we're going to head on over to Unity Developer Integration, guys. Installing the Unity SDK. This is what we've already done. This is what I showed you in the previous step. So now we're moving on to initializing the SDK in Unity. It's very simple. It looks quite confusing, uh, but in all honesty, we don't really touch this code much. We just copy and paste it. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is copy and paste this as initializer and create an empty game object called as initializer. We're then just going to add a code, uh, sorry, a script file. And then once it's reloaded in, we're going to open up in our uh, preferred IDE, mine's Visual Studio. Uh, we're going to copy this and paste it. Da, 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 da. Test mode true. Perfecto. So we're just going to save that. And Unity should now re import the asset. Perfecto. Now, if we go back to this ads initializer, it's going to ask us for our game ID and then also our iOS game ID, our Android and our iOS. Now, if you're only doing an Android game, then obviously you only need to provide the Android game ID. If you're doing iOS, obviously you're going to want to involve your iOS one. They are separate, and it's important the fact you get them in the right area, otherwise your code won't work. Um, further than that as well, even if you're only deploying to Android, it's not that much of a step just to add in the iOS. This may save you some future uh, development if you decide to branch out to that iOS development. So to get this game ID, if we go back to the project settings, there are two ways to get this. Back in our project settings, go down to services and ads, and it's just there. Our iOS is normally a digit more, uh, so all we do there is just change that to a 9. Fantastic. Now, the other way to get hold of the game IDs is if we go to our Unity Hub, go to our developer dashboard, uh, get rid of these tabs, just going to regularly sign in. So then if we go to our a, our project, which is add example, and then we're going to want to head on down to modern, like, monetization. We are going to need to do this anyway, so ultimately it's a good, good way to do it. Uh, you'll be greeted with this screen just here, uh, where we would set the mediation partner. Now mediation is a new platform that Unity have just bought out, which can potentially increase your ad revenue. Uh, providing set up correctly and I will be releasing a tutorial on it but it is a more complicated process this is just a tutorial on the easiest way to set up and use the unity ads SDK so for this we're gonna select I don't plan to use mediation only unity ads I'm gonna click OK on that and then we go hit by our ad units up here is the iOS and the Android game IDs just there now, if they're not there, you can I'll just head on down to your settings just here. Scroll on down, and there they are. Oh, uh, yeah, there they are just there. Game IDs just there for you. So, there you there, there's three areas in which the game IDs is. So, they're really simple and really easy to find. Uh, and then, yeah, so all that's left for us to do now is just make sure it initializes. We're going to play it. Unity adds in, uh, initialization complete. So that will now run every single time we run the ads. So that is the initialization complete of the Unity SDK. So moving on then, we're going to start off with uh, basic ads. So these are these ads which after so long, such as I don't know, 20 seconds, maybe after the end of a level, uh, or after the end of so many levels, you just play a five second ad. That's what these ancestral ads are. Uh, also known as basic ads. Um, 
So yeah, so let me show you how to install that now. So first thing we're going to do is going to head on back over to uh, the documentation because, like I said, it's quite simple. Implement basic ads in Unity. I'm going to again, believe it or not, copy it. But I'm just going to start off by creating a game object, calling it that. But I'm not going to add the example bit and delete that off. And again, create the code. Um, the script perfecto so now we're here we're gonna copy all of this again go back to our script paste it fantastic right Perfect. So the one thing this doesn't do is it doesn't straight off tell you, it doesn't straight off load the ad. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a very quick quarantine. Uh, so we've added in the system collections for us to be able to use the I emulator function, which are also known as a, a quarantine. So what happens now is when this script runs for the first time, it will load in the ad IDs and then it will start the quarantine of start ad. So this start ad function is here. What it will do is it will load the advert, the advert just here. And then it will wait five seconds and then it will show the ad. So if we go back into Unity, let it re-import itself. Make sure there's no errors, perfecto. We will then click play on here. And so now we will wait five seconds. And there we go. So that would be your ad if you were to play it on a on a mobile device. All you do there is just click close. So that would be your your five second your five second ad. Uh, go. And yeah, so that is quite literally it. So you could have it set to different standpoints. So after, let's say, after level three, you play one of those. After level six, you play one of those. And all you need to call at those points, so after each level, all you need to call is that function just here, show add. So if you link this class to wherever your function is to decide the levels, just need to literally just, just, just copy and show add, and Unity will do the rest. It will show the add. And then you'll make a little bit of money every single time that ad is played. So now that that's done, we're going to move on to banner ads. So I'm just going to stop that from playing. Head on back over to Unity. There we go. So banner ads. These are the ones that show up at, at the bottom of your screen that just display a very simple banner ad. In order to install that, what we're going to do is we're going to create another new game object, exactly the same as what we did with the basic ads. We're then going to go back to, you guessed it, the uh, Unity documentation and, oh, banner ads. Funny enough, again, copy it. First though, I'm just going to very quickly copy the banner ad example and just go rename banner ad. So what's also quite important is when you rename the document, so for example I'm here doing banner ad and I'm creating a new script. We open that script. We need to make sure the actual public class is the same name as the file. So if I was to copy all of this, paste it in, 
this code wouldn't actually work because that texture set isn't the same as what's up there. So to fix that, very simple, just, just rename it to exactly the same. Now these banner ads, in the example, it, there's a, a, for the purpose of this example, these buttons are for functionality testing. Now I'm not going to use these, I'm just literally going to load it straight up exactly the same way as you would within your app. So I'm just going to delete this off. And then there's a few things down here. So the buttons interactable, uh, buttons interactable, uh, show banner button, hide banner button, show banner. And then on destroy, we'll just get rid of those listeners just there. Fantastic. So there we go. So this will now, if we go back into Unity, uh, if we click on the banner ad thing here, I'm just going to vocally show you where is this banner position. You can literally, this is just a drop down to show you as to where it is you would want it to go. So for example, we'll just say center for this, this example. Now when we press play, now I'm expecting it to not actually work at this point. So if we go over to console, we can see just here, there is no no reference to the banner ad, and on the actual display here, there is no banner. So this is because if we go back to the code, the load banner uh, isn't actually called at any point. So the way we can do that is very similar to so you've got two ways. Either we can do what we did in the basic ads. Where we just start and and, uh, and uh, quarantine and uh, wait a few seconds, or we can do it after the ads initializer. So what I'm going to do is if I just duplicate that one just there, and what we're going to do is we're going to add up here, uh, add the banner ads. Game object. So what we're going to do is we're going to create Claude class banner add and just here we're just going to call it banner add script uh, class. Why not? There we go. So now what we're going to do. Now this will also work for the um, ads in there, uh, but obviously the basic ads you don't really want to uh, just have them show straight away as soon as it as soon as he initializes. Mm -hmm. You want that delay, hence why I showed you guys how to do the delay there. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is just for it says initialize as on initialization complete, we're then gonna run banner ad class dot show uh, sorry load ad. So what that does there is it calls the banner add class there, which is this page just here, and it calls this load banner. So I selected the wrong. There we go. So load banner. Should be those are the preferences. There we go. So now if we go back into Unity, reload the project. Right, so ignore these errors. So before we do anything, if we go to back to our ads initializer, we now have a, a action here that we just need to add, which is the banner ad. So all we gotta do is drag and drop that game object into there, and away we go. Perfect, right, so now we've got the uh, banner ad just in there. One other thing I do need to very quickly add is, so, what we've done here is we've loaded the banner. So in here, when we load the banner, it gets the banner ready. But what it doesn't do is actually action anything. So where it says on banner loaded, what we're going to do here is we're quite literally just going to add 
show you banner ad. There we go. So now I'm going to go back over to Unity. Let it sort its life out. Then when we press play. There we go. So we can see just here, the banner's loaded. And this would be your banner. Now the placement is empty at the moment solely because uh, I'm currently running in a uh, Windows. But if we switch over to Android very quickly, fantastic. So now if we were to run that same compiler as uh, Android, perfect. And there you go. So you'll see then that we no longer get that error. So that is how you incorporate banner ads again in order to change the just to show you very quickly the location just need to change the position just here so if we go bottom center just there again we press play there we go as see there I'll be showing at the banner center so that ladies and gentlemen is banner ads so now we're going to move on to rewarded ads now this is my personal favorite uh, you get paid the most for these. So, to get started with this, what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the Unity documentation and head on over to Rewarded Ads in Unity. Now, what we're going to do again is we're going to Rewarded Ads button and we're going to create a game object and again, call it exactly the same. Add components. You can call it whatever you want, just make sure when, when you add the script. That, that change is reflected within the script. I will show you again how to do that. So, rewarded banner, we'll go back to here, grab all of the rewarded. Perfecto. There we go. So if you were to rename the document into rewards, add rewards, whatever, just make sure you change the public card class to reflect the exact same spelling as what's in uh, the file name. So, if I go back to my Uni Unity editor, I'm just going to make a very quick UI change just so you can see. <sighs> right. Eh? Yeah. Right, yeah. so, what I've just very quickly rigged up it's quite simply a reward system so what will happen is the user if the user wants to get an extra 50 coins when they press that button that will go up by 50 so to show this very quick in the reward add bad button I would recommend using a just creating like a manager which manages all of your different reward 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 scripts functions just so it's they're all in one place and then it's, it's not a mess but seeing as this is going to be a very quick example I've included it in here for you so the reward is always going to be 50 we've got the button that shows the ad and then we've also got the currency we've then got a function just here reward the user which I'm just going to quickly finish off now so if we go back to this initializer and again Rather than this one here, we can go with a uh, class for the reward add button. Uh, reward add button. So, initialization complete. So we're just going to go to the reward add button. Dot. I load add. Yep, load add. So now what I'll do is in the initializer, once the initialization is complete, it will then load the ad, which will then enable the button. Right then, so now the script's ready, I'm just going to quickly run through the process with you. So we've got the reward set here, which is a reward set to 50. Uh, we've got the button that we'd put in alongside also the coins uh, game object, which is set to a Technomagic Pro. So what I have done is I've just added in a little function here which is reward the user now I recommend setting this up with a reward manager uh, so it'd be a separate script that where you'll have all of your different rewards set then obviously you can then uh, call as per the reward 
per what the reward is for that particular button. So yeah, so this is just a very basic one. So the entire idea behind this is where is to reward the user. All I'll do is just add 50 coins just there. So if we scroll on down, uh, one thing I did need to add into this was just on you on Unity add show complete. So this is where the ad has been completed. We then grant reward. So here is reward the user function, which we're just going to whack just in there. There we go then. So one last thing we need to do just before we press play is just go to the ads initializer because we've not yet added the reward the reward add button script. Uh, so the initializer alongside also adding there we go yeah, the text to there we go coins there we go. So now this should work. So if we press go on this, there's our currency zero. When we press get 50 coins, the ad is there ready to go. Then when we press close, currency 50. We'll be able to do this again, and so on and so forth. But that is that is it. That is that is adding in the rewarded ads. It's as simple as that. It's just quite easy. Um, so yeah, this is my first video on YouTube. Uh, I would very much like the feedback. Uh, so let me down in the comments if you liked it. If you did, I'm going to make some more Unity uh, videos. Just a little uh, a little hobby uh, that I picked up over the last couple of years. Uh, if there is anything in particular that you're struggling with, let me know and I'll create a tutorial for it. Uh, just drop me a message in the comments. And yeah, um, I'd really appreciate your feedback. Thank you.